Good morning. I will be introducing the traditional Japanese theater Rakugo today. Rakugo, according to Japan Society, is a traditional Japanese sit-down comedy that has a history of over 400 years. It could be directly translated to following words. Rakugo is a complete story that is mainly conveyed via conversations between characters and is often 10 to 40 minutes long, as stated in Yabai. No matter how many characters appear in the story, Rakugo is performed by only one uh, performer, known as the Rakugo Ka. As stated in Shore's lecture, the Rakugo Ka must use changes in pitch, tone, and body gestures to help audience distinguish among the different characters, according to Ackerman. Then, according to Sweeney, Rakugo is a simplistic form of theater. It only has two props. One is the sensu, which is the fan, and the tenugui, which is the hand towel for its props. Even though there is a minimal use of props, it has a very strong visual appeal that allows the audience to imagine the scene that the Rokugo Ka is trying to convey via very basic gestures. As you can see in this picture uh, from Jared Horse's YouTube video, a hand towel can be used here as a pen to cook pancake. The visual language is very direct and descriptive. Overall, Rokugo is very important in theater because it's a genuine form of oral art that allows the stories to be trans uh, transferred from the performer to the audience uh, only by words, and that is stated in the essential theater. Now, moving on to the history of Rokugo. At the beginning of its development, Rokugo was used for religious purposes. According to Alka Tao's and New World Encyclopedia, Rokugo was originally invited by the Buddhists in the 9th and 10th century. They wanted to talk about allegorical and dramatic stories to educate common people about uh, spiritual principles. And um, later on, Rokugo became more popular among feudal lords, and it became a new entertainment for the upper class. And it changes from narratives to monologues. Then during the Edo period, a new social class called Chonin appeared. Chonin is basically very rich urban merchants. So they created a demand for entertainment for lower class people. And then Rokugo uh, went into a traditional vendeville type theater called Yose to continue be performed. And they, uh, Rokugo became even more popular. Um, a typical Rokugo, a typical Yusei theater in the late 1700s is shown in this image from Spoon Tamago. The Rokugo Ka can be seen here on the stage in the uh, uh, theater house Yosei. As stated in Chur's lecture, Rokugo that is performed for the lower class people normally has a plot that t turns uh, people of lower class upside down, which makes them move to upper class. The samurais uh, from upper class would mainly end up to be at the bottom of the society at the end of the story. Next, I want to talk about the important theatrical elements in Rakugo. Firstly, the stage design of Rakugo is called Koza. It's very simple with only an elevated stage and uh, a plain background, according to Wikipedia and Japan Experience. Uh, um, and then the Rakugo Ka would sit on here, which is a zaputon, when performing, and they would sit in a very special way with their knees bent called Seda. As you can see in this picture from Primer, it shows a completely showcase of the performer and also the koza. Rokugo stages are set very simply and so are their costumes. For example, their kimonos are often dark colored so that it would put a huge emphasis on the performer's hands and facial uh, expressions so that the audience can focus more on those elements other than other parts of the performer's body. The Rokugo's characters are also uh, almost always very strongly stereotypical, stated in the New World Encyclopedia, so that a strong, distinct, strong distinction from one character moving to the other could uh, better help the audience differentiate between the two. Next, I want to move on to the essential conventions in Rokugo performances. From the video by Canary English Rokugo Company, there are uh, many essential conventions. Firstly, there are switching directions. It helps the uh, audiences to distinguish between characters. For example, talking to the right represents one character while talking to the left represents another one. Body gestures has a similar function. For example, a woman may have more gentle moves with their hands at uh, in the middle part of the body, while a man uh, would have a more fierce and aggressive moves with their hands at other places. A change in pitch and tone is also very similar, like a woman's voice would be higher while a man's voice would be lower down. I chose the convention of miming with props through the performance body, which is the use of the two props, sensu and tenugui, which is the fan and the towel, to uh, help the uh, audience's picture what the actions the Rokugo performer is doing with imagination.
imagination. So here, the common use of props includes actions like these. For example, fishing and using a backhand and pouring a sake to another bottle or writing a letter. Those could all be done using the uh, fan and the hand towel. Thank you very much.